It's been three years since the High Court cleared the way for former prosecution's boss, Nomko Jiba, to face the music, but she's yet to appear in court. On the eve of Jiba going on trial for fraud and perjury, former National Director of Public Prosecutions, Sean Abrahams, announced the case would be withdrawn. That decision was set aside in 2017, but the matter hasn't been re-enrolled. ENCA's Betty Bateman tries to find out why. The fraud and perjury case against advocate Nomko Bojiba was trial ready in August 2015. Five years later, and the disgraced prosecutor who once led the NPA has still not been brought to book. Even under the new leadership of advocate Shamila Batoy, it appears the people in this building will find any excuse not to prosecute their former boss. Former KwaZulu-Natal Hawks boss Johan Boysen opened the case against Jiba for her role in the unlawful racketeering charges, which prematurely ended his career. The withdrawal of charges was set aside in 2017 by the High Court in Gauteng. So as far as I'm concerned, that matter should have been placed back on the roll after, uh, soon after that. Is there any reason that you can think of that uh, the matter cannot be re-enrolled? Well, I've tried to think of any reason, but I cannot find any reason why that matter should not have been placed back on the roll by now. In January, Batoy sent a letter to Boyson's attorneys. She said the delay in the Jiba matter was regretted, but it had been referred to the Gauteng Director of Public Prosecutions to expedite the matter. In March, Advocate George Beloy confirmed that it had been decided to reinstate charges against Jiba, and she would be given a date to appear in court in due course. But in May, Beloy claimed issues arising out of the Mohoro inquiry needed to be addressed to avoid pre-trial litigation. It was the organization Freedom Under Law which had the decision to withdraw the case against Jiba reviewed and set aside in 2017. As somebody who sat through the Mokoro inquiry and is familiar with uh, the report that was issued, um, at, con at, at the conclusion of that inquiry, I, I cannot imagine what it is um, that would render problematic uh, the, the decision to institute charges. Fritz has reflected on Batoy's commitment to restoring the reputation and integrity of the NPA. The most important um, means and avenues by which one does that is to to go after and secure accountability from those who besmirched and tarnished the name um, and the reputation, the integrity of the National Prosecuting Authority. But the NPA says the delay in the Jiba matter is because it's being looked at by the organization's investigative directorate. That it may be part of broader issues, so they don't want to deal with issues on a piecemeal. So that is now part of that. So that decision stands in terms of execution. It depends on the finalization of the issues around ID. As you know, part of the brief of the ID is to investigate corruption within the law enforcement agencies. Boyson disagrees with this approach, saying the case against Jiba stands on its own. The decision to widen the scope may just complicate a relatively straightforward prosecution. But that's if the matter ever makes it to court. Barry Bateman, Pretoria.